Hi, my name is Jamira Burley and I'm an activist, but I also am the co-founder of Jim Why Not and Project Z. I continue to put young people at the center of change, whether it's working on initiatives around gun violence or criminal justice reform, or even around education. I grew up in an environment where for many people, it was normal to see individuals go to jail or to get shot in, by gun violence. And it wasn't until my 20-year-old brother, Andre, was shot and killed in Philadelphia did I realize that although these things are normal to some extent, that didn't make it right. 13 of my um, brothers have all been incarcerated. Both of my parents have been incarcerated. And so watching that happen at a, as a young age, I almost assumed that my trajectory through life would be incarceration. And with the death of my brother, it was a moment for me to realize that if no one else was gonna change what was happening in my community, then I had to be that change agent. I had to do what I could do from my point and place in the world. And that was working with young people and ensuring that they could create solutions that could transform how their peers, how their families, and how their communities dealt with trauma in a way that was actually conducive to healing and reconciliation. I remember a mentor telling me once, you could either be a victim or you could be a survivor. And as a stubborn 15-year-old with 10 older brothers who was constantly feeling like people were making decisions about my life, I grabbed hold onto that moment and really thought about, well, I want, I want to be a survivor. I want to ensure that no one else feels the pain, the anger, the helplessness that I felt as a 15-year-old. With the death of my brother, it gave me a purpose to realize I could take this moment and really um, decide something different for my own trajectory, but also use it as an example to other young people who feel like no one is experiencing what they're experiencing, no one is going through what they're going through, but showing them there is a community of people who have went through similar situations and we have survived and we have thrived. Gen Y Not was created under the ideology of oftentimes we put limitations on young people. We say, you're not old enough, or you don't have a lot of money, or you can't vote. Well, why not? Like, we are the generation, we are young people, we have great ideas, where we have energy, we have passion, we care about these issues, why not? Why can't we do that thing? Why can't we run for office? Why can't we um, raise money for an issue? We really wanted to um, tell the stories of young people around the world who are dealing with similar issues, but are separated by borders, that are separated by religion, that are separated by culture, and really show the intersectionality of all these issues. There is something innocent and amazing and transformative about young people and really a sense of, of of fearlessness and I think we lose it as we get older um, and I think we lose it as we kind of funnel through these institutions or systems that either are supposed to educate us or govern us and my challenge for adults is find a way to cultivate that energy that young people possess that passion that sense of responsibility and not squash it because that will create great leaders for the future and not these cookie cutter robot leaders who haven't served um, any of us well in the past. I'm inspired by this population. I'm inspired by the young people who are coming after me um, because I think they're utilizing the tools of my generation and past generations to set the standards for how we treat each other in a way that's never been done before.